we're going to share with you how to do bake for a little motion. I have uh, put in an olive oil, some onion, some zucchini top, and if you can see, I have in the oven portobello's, which I'm going to, I just brush with some olive oil, and I'm going to let them be in the oven for about 10 minutes, 350 degrees, and I'll show you what's next in a moment. I added some fresh chopped tomatoes, so this is one zucchini about three tablespoons of onion and tablespoons of onion and one small Roma tomato. I'm gonna let it cook around a couple more minutes, maybe two more. I'm gonna throw some spinach, chopped spinach, move it for around a minute and then let it sit and cool down. So that's like a cup of chopped spinach. You can always put more. Depends on the size of the, your mushroom. You just need to, if you're making two, just calculate um, the amount that you're gonna need to peel them up with your vegetables. Like I'm letting the mixture cool off a little bit, and I'm putting second spoon of breadcrumbs, and you just nicely incorporate that in your mixture. And the last ingredient I'm gonna add is a mozzarella cheese to stuff the mushrooms, the portobello mushrooms. You start adding at the end, after putting obviously some salt and pepper, remember always condimenting your food as much as you need to taste. I'm adding the mozzarella, I'm gonna blend it. And here I have my mushrooms. I already pulled them out from the oven. They were like for 10 minutes, 350 degrees, previously baked. I brushed them with olive oil from the inside and the outside. Having my mixture ready. I'm gonna start just pouring it up in the mushroom. So I already filled them up. If you have at home some Parmesan cheese. I like with a little Parmesan to some for some flavor. I'm adding it on right now, and I'm gonna finish. Top them with more melting mozzarella cheese. I never turn off the oven. This is very quick recipe. So the oven is 350 degrees, and I'm gonna place them back, and you just let them. Um, cook through when the cheese start to melt and get some nice brownish color they're actually done so you can have them right away ready a couple more minutes I'm gonna show you the final product the final look and then how I'm gonna plate it I'm just gonna use some um, mashed potatoes but you can use rice pasta whatever you feel like going in to the oven i'm going to place them in the middle rack let them cook them out a couple minutes they're going to be done after having them like five minutes 350 degrees six minutes i just put it up to the higher rack roll them a little bit to get this nice evenly golden color and they are ready to serve i'm going to let them rest for like two minutes or three and plate them on top of nice mashed potatoes and if you can add a uh, nice cream sauce of mushroom or uh, anything like that or tomato cream on top that will be nice.